Rescue workers and police continue to search for South survivors Africa after the land generates over collapse. 12 million tonnes of waste Civil every rights year. group AfriForum says 50 out of 56 South landfills it surveyed failed to meet the minimum health and safety requirements. Of um, that this is not discussed. Uh, it's, it's simple, Gerard. The reason we have these problems is because of the mismanagement of waste. You know? And the major, major thing that they have helped us with is to keep the site up to speed and we were able to run from the 15% uh, compliance level, which is way too low, to the 96% compliance. So as a community of Promosa here in JB Max, we are very much happy for the work that ALS has been doing. And I can also say to the municipality, you've appointed the right, the right guys in this project. ILS is suitable because um, our people that work on the landfill are highly trained in what to do here and um, we have the skills to do it. Uh, experience counts. Um, I think the, the will sometimes um, are there, but not the technical knowledge and the financial backup, as well as the um, equipment needed to be able to do this. And I think there's a lack of knowledge as well. There's a, a lot of people that want to do it right, but haven't got the correct knowledge and uh, means. And I think this is where we can make a huge difference. According to a civil rights organization in South Africa uh, that have done an uh, uh, audit on all the landfills throughout South Africa, only about 17.5% of all the landfills um, uh, get uh, adhere to the minimum requirements um, that is uh, prescribed for landfill management. There are requirements that we need to meet in operation of Lensfield site, uh, both from all the other stakeholders, including the provincial and national departments. So when we meet the compliance levels that are required from national and provincial levels, um, we are happy. We have less of stress in terms of community uh, outcry as well as protest and so on. We, we, we would recommend them anytime. We had an issue with the dumping site a few years ago uh, with a previous company that, uh, that was appointed by the municipality where we experienced and suffered uh, health hazard where the dumping was in a dire situation uh, for almost uh, nine months. That's when we started to, to mobilize the community and protest uh, indicating to the municipality that they need to get a more a uh, company that will come and run the dumping site to get it to the, uh, to the right standard. We were very happy when we got the news that ALS has been appointed to take over the running of the dumping site uh, because we know ALS historically is a company with the right equipment for the job. They have done a number of uh, good projects around the country. Uh, within three years up to now, they have done a fantastic job uh, the standard uh, of the dumping site as we speak in JV Max is in a better situation. As a community, we are no more experiencing fleas. We are no more experiencing environmental hazard. We are very happy. Even with the community development projects, ALS has been supporting and even providing uh, instant porridge to the local communities. It has created jobs, uh, waste pickers around here. They've got small companies that are also working with them. It doesn't matter to them what kind of a plea the community is bringing to their attention. They are looking at the issue and they are definitely making a move to make a difference. So as a community of Promosa here in JB Max, we are very much happy for the work that ALS has been doing 
and I can also say to the municipality, you've appointed the right, the right guys in this project. We are definitely suitable because we have the experience um, to work on these kinds of sites. Um, our machines are in top quality, they are uh, well looked after. Minimal breakdowns means our production on the sites uh, are 100%. Our people are trained, they know exactly what to do from compaction, from daily covering, from litter picking. Everything that, that, that has to do with the land for our guys are trained. We always keep our site clean, our environment clean, as well as the, the community supporting us by whatever we ask they comply. Even those people who are here, whenever we ask, whatever we ask, they comply. That's why, yeah, in fact, this, the company else as it is, the community cries that, no, we have something, we are running short of this and this, else can help. Yeah, uh, normally if uh, there is wind, at times wind can blow papers everywhere of which pollute the environment. So normally we, every fortnight, we employ most people from the community come, coming and helping us, fetching, uh, picking up papers so that our landfill must uh, be kept clean. If I do the, the space for recycling, I, I, I divide the cell into two bases and then the, our, I create our working cell and they are recycling cell so that we cannot uh, disturb each other. We give them, those, these people, we give them time to pick their stuff so that uh, we can work together. Since they are not working, that's when we get our time to push, to push and then we compact the, the material. After compacting the material and then by the time we want to knock off, before we knock off, we cover with the topsoil so that uh, no papers will be flown by the wind. I like, it, I like the company just because it is ours for all. The whole philosophy behind the whole um, landfill is to protect the environment from whatever you are dumping in there. So first of all, the, the landfill cell must be designed and built properly to ensure that there's no contamination towards the, the groundwater. Um, <clears throat> so that is the, the most important part. And then as you build it, you have to uh, build it in layers, compact it properly to make sure that you don't um, lose some of your airspace. And then you build it properly in layers, make sure that you don't put anything in there that is not allowed. And then to compact it uh, properly, to make sure that you've got a very stable foundation on, as you build it up. And then to uh, cover it with uh, topsoil material to make sure that um, every layer is compacted properly and covered so that there's no windblown litter that goes back into the environment. With our company being over 30 years in the construction and civil and earthworks area, um, we've got the knowledge and we've, we've learned over years how to work with, with, um, with earth and so forth and do compaction and building of roads, etc. So for us, uh, moving into this uh, field wasn't, wasn't that difficult because this is something that we are used to. Um, and we've learned a lot um, on, on management of landfill sites. And uh, it is in fact just the same as any other project. You just need the, the correct skills, skilled people, train them, and then have the right equipment, as well as uh, enough um, people that can do the work. So yeah, we work closely with the local municipality and to make sure that we 
adhere to all the standards, the minimum standards that is required um, uh, for running and maintenance of a landfill site. I think uh, what makes us different is uh, the passion of our people. Uh, we've got a team of more than 1,000 people that is working in the ALS group. Been in, in the business for more than 34 years. Um, and over the years, we've got a lot of people that are working there for 25, 30 years. So there's a vast am amount of, of knowledge that were kept over the years. And, uh, but the passion of our people makes a difference. I think um, when what we do, we try to do it better than anybody else. The, the benefit uh, of having a, a group of, of um, companies that have got a vast amount of experience in different fields, from agriculture to construction and mining, as well as civil and, 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 and earthworks, that helps us to, uh, one, once we tackle a, a new project, we can tap in on other resources as well as other um, knowledge from different um, uh, industry.